in the last lecture we studied about the soft tissue methods before it we can we had started uh, this polynomial which is divisible by given polynomial by the algebraic theorem algebraic algorithm theorem so there are the some phenomena so how could we divide that one polynomial by the another there are the some rules it this rule follow the simple algebraic equation algebraic terms so some example i think we will be we would be discussed this is your tutorial number 1.3 product and the division product uh, some example we already discussed and uh, 3 of four example also we discuss of the division let's just try today example number 4 the division of the polynomial so the student look at your screen your tutorial number 1.3 will start this is the question number 4 one polynomial is divided by the another polynomial polynomial how look here uh, this is your polynomial x square 2x plus 1, and it is divided by the given polynomial. And your given polynomial is uh, 3x square. Sorry, 3x cube X square, two x plus five. Now I'm starting to divide the. We always know that we always divide the anything. Procedure to divide divide the any term to make a remainder possible as zero. So what we can do here? I have a. 3x square and my first called variable this is my x square i just to find the relation between them so create a non zero element now at least a one non zero element which is uh, multiply by this equation and uh, get uh, 3x cube how could we what we can do it is easy to if i can 3x cube is divided by x square i get the non zero element 2 power 2 power cut this is only 3x so this 3x is the non zero element which is multiplied by this x square and get the 3x square so let's first start with the this term this is my 3x i put here 3x now the 3x one by one multiply by every element of the given sequence the 3x is multiplied by x square it will be 3x square put here 3x multiplied by 2x it is 3 into 2 6 6x square 3x multiplied by 1 it will be 3x into 1 this is 3x now change the rule now the change the sign all the below number is positive so all 
term become negative. Now, look here. This is plus three x square. This is a minus three x square. Both cancel. Remaining term six x square. It's now become a negative six square x minus x square. This is the minus. Five x raised to four. So remain five x square. <clears throat> Again, two positive, three negative. This is minus x, and I can put below plus five. Again, same rule. I want to become this number zero. So again, I find the relation between this x square and the minus pi x square. What is the relation? It this relation if I can divide by pi x square by x square, x square x square cancel. This is the minus pi. This minus pi is non-zero element. It's give me a remainder zero for first term. So this phi is multiplied by x square, multiplied by two x, and minus phi is multiplied by one. So what happen here? Minus phi is multiplied by x square, minus phi x square, minus phi multiplied by two x, minus ten x. Minus five multiplied by one. This is minus five. My rules to change the sign of every element, which is written in below. So this below term look on the below term. This is minus five become positive. Minus ten become positive. Alternate sign give. This is plus. Now check. This plus five minus five both cancel. Minus six ma plus ten. Minus six plus ten. Ten become nine. This is nine x plus five plus five plus ten. So I got the cos one and the remainder. My constant is three x minus five, and remainder is nine x plus ten. So this is your answer. Tell me if you have any doubt, any query, if you not understood. All the student got it understood. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's see more on the more example of the division method. Please write down. So this is the fifth number question. Look at your screen. This fifth number. X cube, three x square plus three minus five divided by x square minus x plus one. So let's see check. So first of all, I can divide. I 
x square minus x plus one by x cube three x square plus three x minus five. Now, now look the relation between these two term. What happen if x cube is divided by x square? I got only x. So I can multiply. I put x here, and this x is one by one multiply by here, and give this answer. And the answer is put it here. So x into x square. It is x cube. X into minus x minus x square. X into one. This is x. Now change their sign. This below a blue color la ek colors axis. Only look at it. The axis. This word sign. X cube is positive, negative. X square negative, it's positive. This x positive will be negative. Cancel the x cube x cube cancel. Remaining is minus c x square plus x square. It will be minus two x square. Three minus one. Plus two x. Then put the five below. Now tell me, which is the non-zero term I can multiply by this x square, and I get the two x square is zero. Anyone? Anyone can tell me? Koi ne idea chhe? Bhai kitna number thi? Abe multiply karis? To mene two x square zero mali jaise? Two thi. This is two. Not minus. Right. It's a minus two because this is your number is minus two x square, and I can find the value of x square. X square x square cancel. This is minus two two. I can put minus two here, and this minus two is one by one multiplied. The given equation, and it was, it is minus two into x square, minus two x square, minus minus plus two x, minus plus minus two. Okay, change their sign. This plus, this negative, this is plus. So it's cancel. Here again plus two x minus two x cancel. Minus five plus two. This is minus three. And so I got the remainder and quotient both. This quotient is x minus two, and remainder is minus three. Hope you clear all the student. Remember? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's we check uh, for your side. Tell me the answer of this question. So tell me the answer of the following question. What is the answer of the given term? Tell me. Question and remainder both. 
All the student, please try. Very good, Divya. Any other remainder in the course one? All the student, please try it. And if any doubt related question, tell me. Hope you got it. <clears throat> so the answer is constant is R to X square. minus cx plus 1 and remainder is this is 0. So the Kelvin very good, Divya you too very good.
Lulu, very good, very good. Now this is a very beautiful question on your screen. All the student look at. All the student please look at. So x raised to four plus one, which is divided by x minus one. And there is a constant and the remainder are given on A, B, C, D option. And the hint also, this is X raised to 4 plus 1. It is written like a X raised to 4 plus 0X cube, 0X square plus 0X plus 1. Now you can divide this X plus X raised to 4 plus 1 by x minus 1 and tell me which option is true a b c d Yes, said B is the right option. Okay. Come and run with him. Kelvin also. Very good. The two students said the option B is true. The remaining student, what are you doing? Divya, Vora also with them. Very good. Jai Mori, good option B, right? Definitely right. So option B is a true option. The option B is a correct option. This is true. So the main student got it. So the student, your uh, tutorial number 1.3 is over. Let's we start the new tutorial. Tutorial number 1.4. Hope you enjoyed. 
your new tutorial is this is the 1.4 the algebraic identities so today i'm going to start algebraic identities related the question and answer also so let's start first of all you student remember the all the identities all the identities that means there are 13 identity are available these are the identities x plus y whole square x square plus 2x plus y square when the middle sign is minus that is x square minus 2xy plus y square x plus y x minus y let's say x square minus y square yes marlene you must remember it all the identities you must remember i'm asking anytime you always tell me the true answer to identities so this is the x fourth number identities fourth number identity is x plus x plus b that is x square a plus b x a b a plus b x plus y whole cube x minus y whole cube x plus y plus z whole square and this more in your lecture class also okay if any need i can write it so let's we start the first example so expand the following each the first identity is comparing with your formula and the formula is answer of the first is i have a x plus y whole square this is x square to x y plus y square comparing it and put the value 2x plus 4 whole square this is 2x square second 2 into 2x4 plus 4 square give the square to x square that is 4x square Two into four, four into four sixteen. This is sixteen x, and this is sixteen. This is your answer of your first question. Are we clear? Now move on the second yes, question. Okay. Move on the second question. This is your second 2x minus 2y whole square. Let's be more answer. Yes. 
here i can use the identities I write the answer in below. This is second identity is x minus y whole square. Let's say x square minus 2xy plus y square. Just put it. Two x minus four y whole square. Here I can use the minus identities. So directly I apply the minus sign. Two x square. Two into first term into second term. Don't write the minus again because I can use minus identities. Here, where x is two x and y is four y. This is four x square minus sixteen x and sixteen x y. This is y square. The both use of the both identities. Look their sign. The plus identity. There's been no change if you have a minus identity, and use the minus formula. So you always write the term in a positive form. Don't write their term in negative form. Otherwise, otherwise you must confuse and put the sign is both the term is minus form. So look which of formula you used. Yes, Aryan, this is a tutorial one point four. Look your home page. This is readable to you. You need one polynomial algebraic identities. Tutorial number one point four. Again, this is your tutorial one point four. Name of your tutorial is algebraic identities. And this two example we will we will discuss. We will we will discuss. So let's see more. Next example, more identities. Here again, positive negative square identities. So now I'm not writing every time the identities. This is a x plus y whole square. That's mean x square plus a two into x into y plus y square. So directly, I can write the answer. The first number square, x by two whole square, plus two into first and second element, plus second square. This is the. Now we apply the square. X square and two square, x square x square 
2 square is 4. But look here, 2 to cancel. This x into 2, this is 2x plus 2 square, this is 4. And it's your answer. Number 3. Same thing happen in number four, but here the sign is, middle sign is minus. The first square, x upon eight square, minus two into first term, into second term, plus second term square. Apply this square, Next square, 8 square 64, cancel if possible, this is 4, this is 2, 8, now 2 and 2 cut, remaining is only x. Plus 64. Sorry, 4 square 60. This is answer. Tell me, I have any doubt, any confusion? No, ma'am. Okay. Madam. Okay. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Tell me. Madam, can you? Good. Good evening. <laughs> good. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Madam, can you repeat three and four? You need. Can you repeat number three and number four? Okay. This question, question number three and four. Yes. Okay. Look, student, if you have a no other idea, look at here. You got it, it's very good. Here I can use the identities, such identities. X plus Y whole square. This identity is set x square plus y to x y y square. Compare these two quantity by this one. Your question is x by 2 plus 2 whole square. Let's be compare first square. First two quantities, x by 2 whole square plus 2 into x, that's mean first element, y, that's mean second element, and this is y is 2. Then second element square, second element is 2, and this 2 square. Apply this square. The whole bracket square is x square is x square and 2 square it will be 4 plus next term 2 and 2 cut remaining term is 2x plus 2 square this is 4 and this is your answer clear You got it, you're not. And then number four. In this fourth question, I can use minus identity, this identity. 
his identity. X minus y whole square. So it said comparing with it x minus y whole square which set x square x y plus y square compare first side x upon 8 minus 4 whole square first quantity square minus 2 into first into second then second quantity square x square 8 square 64 cancel if possible look at 2 in 4 8 8 upon 8 cancel this is minus x only plus 60 and it's your answer. Have you cleared? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's move on to the next number fifth. Tell me the which identity is used and you know or yeah, not. Okay. Tell me the answer. Fifth and six. Directly answer. Anyone try it? Answer of the given question is what? And which identity use here? A plus B whole square. That is the fifth number identity is A plus B whole square. And tell me the answer. 9X square plus 24XY plus 16Y square. Right, 9X square, 24XY, very good. And last two, 16Y square. Okay, now tell me the negative identity also. Twenty four x y square. Uh, sorry, four y four x y square. Right. Minus. Take, take uh, minute. Take minute. Four x y square. Plus four y square. a. Uh, x second. Y square. 4 x square y square. X. Uh, minus 4 x y square. Minus 4 x y square. Done. Very good. Plus y square. Plus y square. Very good. Very good. Impressive. So the student, this is your answer. Hope you were able to do. So let's see more on the more examples. Don't wasting time.
to look your screen. Yes, this is the cube. First question, I can do it in a second, you. So their identity of the cube is x plus y whole cube. This say x cube, y cube, three into x y, x plus y. This is a plus b whole cube. So now we apply here. 2x plus 4 whole cube. This is this first quantity cube. 2x cube. Y cube. That means 4 cube. 3 into x money. 2x. Y means 4 and 2x plus 4. Now we apply the cube. Cube, that's mean the quantity that is multiplied by 3 times. This 2 is multiplied by 3 times. That is cube. That's it. So 2 cube is 8x cube is x cube. 4 cube, 4 into 4, 16, 16 into 4, 64, plus 2 into 3, 6, 6 into 4, 24x, into 24, sorry, 2x, plus 4. Open the bracket, this 24 is multiplying by the given bracket and it is and this is your final answer it x cube 64 plus 24 into 2 this is 48 x 24 24 x square Twenty four into four. This is ninety six text, and this is your answer. Clear all the student. This is cube quantities. Now eight number person you try i give the identities and tell me the final answer the use in eight con it is x minus y whole cube it is x cube minus y cube minus three x y x minus y And answer of the question is this is what Question number eight. Apply the negative identities. I can do. May I yes, yes, sure. 8x cube. One second. Minus 
चलो हूँ एक वक्त कर
ઓકે મેમ નો પ્રોબ્લેમ ઓકે માઈનસ હોય ત્યારે જોવાનો પ્લસ સાઈન હોય તો કંઈ જોવાનો આવતો જ નથી ચલો ગોટ ઇટ યર નોટ હેવ એની ક્વેરી ટેલ મી પ્લીઝ ઓકે સો લેટ્સ મૂવ ઓન નાઉ સોલ્વ યોર સેલ્ફ એન્ડ ટેલ મી ધ ફાઈનલ આન્સર I am not doing this question. You tell me the answer. The both question. This 9 and this 10. This is x plus y whole cube. Don't worry, I'm doing with you. You just compare your answer with me. A plus B whole cube. The first cube. Plus second cube. 3 into first and second then both term addition so now now i apply the square cube x cube 2 cube here Two to cancel. Remaining quantity is three x and x by two plus two. So don't need to worry about. Just write and go for this is x is to three. Upon eight plus eight. This three x is multiplied by given bracket. Three x into x by two. This is three x square by two. That's mean three by two x square. Plus three x into two. This is six x. That's your answer. Compare your answer with it. Number ten. Here the minus quantity. Don't need to worry. first square sorry first cube minus second cube minus 3 into first into second in the bracket this whole bracket now i'm giving this square sorry cube this is x cube 8 cube 8 multiply by 3 time okay i'm using calculator wait a minute This is five one five, two. Right. This is the five one two. The four cube. I know this is sixty four. Now here, look at the change. This is four and this is eight. They both got remaining is two. So I write the remaining term. This is 
3x by 2 remaining bracket is, is x by 8 minus 4. Now this minus 3 by 2, let's multiply the given bracket, then change their sign. The positive term become negative and the negative will be converted into the positive term. So, this is your answer. X cube 512 minus 64 minus this 3x I write here 3x into 2 for my in multiply by x by 8. So what happened? x into x is, is x square. 3 as it is 2 into 8 16. So 3 upon 16 x square and the minus minus plus look here student this is 3 by 2x multiply by 4 so what happened 2 to cut here 2 is remaining 2 into 3 this is 6 x your answer so don't forget So the student hope you cleared. I give you some example in your homework and you can try it in tutorial. So ready for it? Using the identities and your identities in your class book. So take them from it. Solve it. This is 11, 12. Yes. Thirteen. Fourteen. You must try in tutorial class, tutorial book. Fifteen. I'm not two again. This is your homework. Yes. 
So take the screenshot. This is your homework. Eleven example two. Twenty example in your book. Total book. Tomorrow I will check personally. That means I will ask you to personally answer any from eleven to twenty. And if you need the identities, the all identities available on your Google Classroom. So don't worry, you're taking from it. And this is your homework. Hope you have no problem. This ten examples. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so click it. Did I'm stopping here? Enough for today. Uh, let's ready for the present. So the chemical student, unmute yourself. Ready for the present number one? Present, ma'am. Okay. Number two. He is left. Okay. Number three. Present, ma'am. Okay. Number five. Number six. Four right here. Four chair. Okay. Four number. Present. Okay. Five. So five oh, nothing. Six. Okay. Five nothing. Six number. Present. Okay. Now you can leave it. Chene present level J J sake chair. Six number. Seven number. Eight. Nine. Present now. Okay. Ten. Present. Ten. Okay. Eleven. Madam, my network is okay. I'll join that. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Twelve. Present, Present madam. Okay. Present, ma'am. Done, done. It's done, William. Thirteen number. Fourteen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Fifteen. Present, ma'am. Okay. Sixteen. Present, ma'am. Okay. Seventeen number. Present, ma'am. Okay. Eighteen. Nineteen, twenty. Present twenty. Okay. Twenty-one. Present, ma'am. Okay. Twenty-two. Present. Okay. Any remaining? Any student? So far, hope you enjoy. Madam, number twenty. Attend the passport. Done. Now you can enjoy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Have a good day.